What is going on everybody? It is a Speedix, right? Bringing you another Black Ops 3 gameplay. And on this gameplay in particular, I was actually playing with some friends, which actually never really happens. I'm usually just playing by myself in some pubs. But luckily we got some good old friends. I know one of them, another one's just a random. I don't really know, but my good friend does. One is Trill Trilly and Fitz. Really good guys. You know, check them out. One of them's becoming a DJ, so you know, just be on the lookout for that guy. He's gonna be making an impact. And to start it off, we were doing it off terrible. But uh, let's get back into the topic. And today's topic will be about with age, does responsibility come? All right, guys. I have recently just turned 19. I've been, you know, since I graduated, I was 18, and just recently I became 19. And everybody tells me like, hey, guess what? Now you can have a penalty for the rest of your life. Now you have more. Or more what's called more responsibility everybody actually brings up the responsibility but nobody actually brings up the fun in being a grown-up and of course being a grown-up is not fun sometimes it has its ups and downs just like everything just like when you're a kid you have homework when you're an adult you have to pay things that you work hard for so I'm not saying like when you're little you don't pay for anything but you know don't go and steal anything but um like that's what everybody tells me like you know hope you're ready for the real world because honestly, nobody is. No matter how much you, you prepare, how much school you do, how much, you know, diplomas you have, anything, nothing can prepare you for the real world. With all training, with all, anything you do, no one's ready. Why? Because every scenario is different and every person in this world is different. And here's a couple examples. I have a really good friend of mine that lives down the street and me and him grew up, him and I grew up really close together. But... The difference between him and I is I decided to not go to college the first year, but he did. What happened there, he actually got bored of going to school and he actually just wants to like drop out and like, dude, I just don't want to go to school, blah, blah. And with my point of view that I'm on the outside of school and looking inward, working full time, not having a fun time of the part time jobs while going to school is how people actually on the inside don't enjoy it why because it seems miserable they never got that break that's why I picked the break of school took the year off to just enjoy it for myself but now now that I see how important it is because I saw you know the education matters in this world I actually want to go back I have that drive of going back and not only am I going back but I'm going back time part-time I'm going back part-time I don't know I kind of goofed up right there but going to work full time. So I'll, in my mind, I will always have that drive of wanting to go to school and having that good career and not having to, you know, go to work because I love my job and it's considered fun, if that makes sense to somebody. So I, I think I kind of got off topic about responsibility. And yeah, it's more like when you grow up, you get more responsibilities, but also you get more freedom. Like, when you are older, you can just, you know, if let's say you're into photography and, you know, videography, which I'm kind of going into, and, you know, you have that loan sum of money just sitting on your bank account, and you really want to go and see the, I don't know, Fiji, because of the cool water and the tropics, uh, climax, and the plants, blah, blah, I don't know. And you just be like, you know what? I'm taking these days off, this you know, this following week or so. Even though that's a terrible idea, I don't just take random days off, for work-wise. But um, you take those days off, and you just head there and pursue it. As a kid, or as a young adult, or like a pre-adult, you can't really just take off and go anywhere you want at any time. You always have to not ask, but you always have, you're looked upon down by your parents. I was like, why did you ask? Why'd you take off? They'll question you. And... Being there will be harder because you know you're younger, so people will not can't get a hotel until you're 21 or so. This is not knowing the laws of that country, because I know, like in Mexico, you're an adult at 18, you can get in a hotel, you can go to strip clubs, you can go drinking, you can kill somebody at any age, honestly. So you don't really need to be an age to kill somebody, but um, that's the thing. Like when you're younger, it's more restricted and it's harder to accomplish things. It's not impossible, it's just a bit harder as of when you're older, 
and you can just go off and just be, you know, like that crowd that's out there looking for stuff to do. Because why? They're older, they have that money, they have that age. So, and of course, you have that responsibility. If they do something wrong, they get punished right there and then. And if, you know, something good happens, then, you know, something good happens. You know, God forbid something bad happens when you're out traveling and you're like, what, 15? And you're in a situation where you don't know what to do or you're, you know, your backpack got lost and you have no phone, you have no wallet, you have no papers, no clothes. You know, it's just different perspectives. Like you haven't been molded yet to be an adult or you haven't been to that struggle that shows you how to, you know, if this happens, we're going to go here. If that happens, we're going to do this. Because, like, have you ever been with your parents and something bad happens and you're kind of like, okay, what, what can I do to help in this situation? And you're thinking like something way around the main objective and your father or mother just thinks of this perfect execution plan and that gets right to the point and finishes the issue and just terminates it. And you're like, oh, that was pretty obvious. Why didn't I do that? And the reason is because your parents have actually, sadly, you know, maybe not completely or been in, their, in a similar situation, but they've been in that scenario where they learned from somebody or, you know, They've actually thought of it before. Not thought of it, but been through it. In some way and somehow, they've done it. So they know what to do. Like in my case, before I even got this job of being an apprentice at a shop, I would have known nothing about motors. I would have known nothing about, you know, putting certain items in a car in a certain way. But like, the thing is, it's kind of weird because since I've been there for such a long time, um, what's it called? Like last time, I was on a boat with one of my coworkers, and I, there's actually a vlog about this. And I go on to drive the boat, and I actually accidentally turn off the boat with my knee as I'm going into the driver's seat. Then he's like, "Oh, there's no problem. You know, I just worked on the engine; it's perfectly fine." So he hops on and tries to turn it on, tries to crank the motor, like, and nothing happens. We're actually in the ocean, drifting towards a pier, in Oceanside, and it's just like we start panicking a little. You know, when you panic, that's where things go wrong. You can't think straight. You can't do much straight. So he's trying to turn it on, like flooding the motor. And out of nowhere, just I didn't even think about it. It just came out and just like, dude, put the motor on neutral. Like something like that, I would have never known maybe a year ago. But for some reason, it just came out. Like it wasn't like a thought. I'm like, oh, maybe should I say it? No, maybe it's dumb. It was just like, dude, put it on neutral. Like, you know, like those animal instincts, like when you're life or death situation and you just you know there's some something about to attack you and you just lunge that arm out of the way but you don't even know it happened or like when you're washing your car and water goes towards your eyes and you blink but you didn't really try to blink makes sense it's just something that human nature just has has it on lockdown and just does it absolutely on command it's kind of like those situations so with responsibility, knowledge does happen. Like here's a here's a saying for you guys. It's a Mexican saying: the devil knows more by age than by being a devil. Just remember that one, and that applies to anything in the world. You know, age is everything. Knowing, been there, done that, helps a lot. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button, and if you want to give it one more try. I won't complain, I won't tell on you, go ahead. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button, you'll be the newest to get the upload content that goes up daily on this channel. Like always, keep on grinding.